forward by the president's defenders that his age was also considered an issue four years ago. You know, if you look at the polling now, compared to it was pre-debate and compared to it was four years ago, it's just not even on the same planet, Anderson. If you ask voters now, does Biden have the mental fitness, in fact, be president? Those numbers are incredibly low. The percentage who say he does not have the mental fitness, look at this, 72% say he does not have the mental fitness in order to be president right now. That's up from 65% pre-debate. But compare that to four years ago, the percentage of voters who said that Biden was too old, it was just 36%. That's half the level that we're looking at right now. These numbers are not anywhere close to being the same. Four years ago, voters, for the most part, thought Joe Biden was with it. He could handle the job as president. You look at those numbers now. The fact is voters do not even see them on the same planet. They don't think Biden's with it. They do not believe he has the mental fitness to be president. And I have to be honest with you. I don't know how he wins with the numbers that we see right now. There is no precedent for the numbers that we're seeing right now for someone running for president, letting alone getting a nomination. These are the types of numbers when you combine them with some of the numbers that we're seeing post-debate that show him trailing Donald Trump. These are the types of numbers that could end a campaign if he can't turn them around. There is some we are witnessing the stages of grief play out in real time among members of the legacy media. And now it looks like we've reached the stage of despair and desperation as more and more prominent Democrats are calling on Biden to drop out an internal Democrat poll just got leaked, and it shows that Trump is poised for an epic, and I do mean epic, landslide blowout come November. We're going to see that poll, and we got the latest on why it looks like the Democrats are up a creek. They're stuck with Biden, and it appears that there's absolutely nothing they can do about it. Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, your Patriot Professor, here to help you stay sane in these insane times. So make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Also. 2020, what comes to mind when I say that? COVID, the coming of a frail and crumbling president followed by wide open borders. It's no longer an if situation. It's a when, gang. When will the next emergency situation happen? We're still a long, long way from November. And if we're paying any attention at all, it's likely almost upon us. So being prepared is no longer a choice. It's a necessity. Thank God for the wellness company. Gang, they are amazing. They've given me and my family the peace of mind to handle any medical crisis from my family. From tick bites to the next pandemic, the wellness company's medical emergency kit is a true lifeline. This is absolutely essential to stock up on in case of an emergency. It's chock full of essential meds like ivermectin, antibiotics, antivirals, and more. This kit gives you real peace of mind for this area of preparedness. And the wellness company is a team of renowned medical professionals, including Dr. Peter McCullough, Dr. James Thorpe, Dr. Harvey Risch, Dr. Drew Pitt, and even more truth-seeking doctors. The medical emergency kit they've designed sets the gold standard for safety and prevention. Gang, don't wait until the next crisis is here. Get peace of mind now by clicking on that link below or visiting twc.health slash Turley and use promo code Turley for an exclusive 10% discount. I got my emergency pack. Now it's your turn. Click on that link below right now. They're calling it, quote, insane. That's the word that some are using for a brand new poll that was just leaked to the press, obviously by a disgruntled Democrat who wants to get rid of the sinking ship SS Biden. It's a confidential memo obtained by Puck News, and it reveals the findings of a brand new poll conducted by the Democrat data firm Open Labs in the 72 hours following that disastrous debate on Thursday night. Now, keep in mind, gang, both campaigns, the Biden-Trump campaign, they literally spend millions of dollars on polling. These internal polls are generally speaking the best polls out there because they inform the campaigns where they need to spend their tens of millions of dollars and focus their efforts. Gang, this leaked poll from the Biden campaign is beyond jaw-dropping. Take a look at this. According to the Democrats' own polling, Trump is crushing Biden in 10 contested states, including a number of reliably blue states. Look at this. Trump is beating Biden by 11 in North Carolina. 
by 10 in Georgia and Arizona. Trump is up nine in Nevada. He's up seven in Pennsylvania and Michigan. Trump is up four in Wisconsin. He's up three in New Hampshire. That corroborates the latest and some poll that just came out that has Trump up by two in New Hampshire. And look at this, gang. Trump has taken the lead in Virginia and even in New Mexico. To add insult to injury, Biden's lead in Minnesota and Colorado are within the margin of error. Trump is within the margin of error in two of the bluest states in the country, and he's gaining ground. If this trajectory holds, he's going to win both. Now, if you want to see what this looks like on the electoral map, drum roll, please. Here you go. I mean, soak this in. This is what November is going to look like. And again, here's the key, gang. This is what it's going to look like according to the Democrats' own polling. Biden's money paid for that map. The Trump team is calling it too big to rig. That's precisely what it looks like, too big to rig. Now you can see why the Democrats are so utterly freaking out over what happened last Thursday night. I mean, this is, this is beyond anything they could have ever imagined in their worst nightmares. This is what Harry Anton of CNN that you saw earlier today was freaking out over at the beginning of this video. We are looking at a Trump landslide of literally epic proportions. And it's not just the polls. Guess what follows the polls? What follows the polls? It's the money. Check out this cash haul. For the month of June, Trump raked in nearly a quarter of a billion dollars. That's billion with a B. The New York Times is now reporting that donors are bailing on Biden. Quietly, they said quietly, but it is happening. And this is exactly the problem that Democrats really feared the most. It wasn't just the loss of confidence among the Democrat base in Biden. It wasn't just the loss of undecided voters who are now solidly opposed to ever even remotely voting for Biden. It's the donors. This is where it really hurts. And again, it's not just Biden seeing his money dry, dry up. It's down ticket. If you think dumping money into Biden is a waste of time because he's going to get so thoroughly shellacked, why bother down ticket when obviously the other Democrats are going to go down with him? And even with the money now drying up, ironically, gang, they're still stuck with him. More and more experts are just coming out and saying this. It's when all said and done, it's too late. It's too late really to do anything about this. I'm going to show you exactly why? Uh, first gang, by the way, tonight, it's the night. I got a huge announcement coming. I've been telling you about this. Many of you know my team and I are working on something amazing. And this will be one of the biggest positive changes to Turley Talks that will benefit you, my fellow courageous and loyal patriots, for years to come. I'm going to announce it tonight on a 7 p.m. live stream Eastern time. So make sure to tune in. You're going to absolutely love it. All right. So we talked about this yesterday with the great expert pollster Rich Barris in our live stream, which you'll definitely want to check out after this video if you haven't already seen it. It's a great interview. But Rich noted uh, the last time an incumbent dropped out of a race was LBJ, Lyndon Baines Johnson, back in 68. But gang, um, that was in March of that election year. That was in March of that year. We're almost four months out from that. And even then, LBJ never formally entered the race. Remember, he announced that he would not be seeking or accepting the nomination. Steve Kornacki said it best. There really is no historical precedent for what the Democrats are trying to do here. There's no prior parallel for what so many Democrats are wanting Biden to do, which is, of course, exit the race with just a little over 100 days to go before Election Day. Biden, whether anyone likes it or not, is the presumptive Democrat nominee. He's the one that won the needed delegates in the primaries that were assigned based on the number of people that voted for Biden, not for anyone else. And those delegates are legally bound to Biden at this point. They can't just be casually transferred to someone else who Democrat primary voters did not vote for. And so now we're beginning to see headlines like this. Take a look at this. this. is from Jared Golden. 
Jared Golden is a Democrat representative from the state of Maine. Take a look at this headline. It says it all. It's an op-ed he wrote. Donald Trump is going to win the election and democracy will be just fine. <laughs> Gang, this is a Democrat in the House of Representatives writing this. I, I mentioned the stages of grief at the beginning, right? We, we're literally witnessing those stages play out in real time. So you start with denial, right? Like we've been seeing with the borderline illiterate, Karine Jean-Pierre, the clown of the White House spokesperson. Uh, we've certainly seen a lot of anger and depression and the like. But finally, at some point, there is acceptance. And that's exactly what I think we're seeing here with this Democrat representative. Donald Trump is going to win this election. And relax, democracy will be just fine. And the bottom line of the article is, look, this Democrat representative believes, uh, there's no question, uh, Donald Trump is going to win this election in a blowout. He's going to win it quite handily. All the polls show it. And he's okay with that. Our democracy is stronger than any one person, right, according to him. And, and he plans to be working together with Trump to benefit his constituents in Maine. It's, it's really that simple. I mean, who would have ever thought, right? We've got an election coming up in November. I'm a Democrat, but I'm first and foremost a politician, and I can read the writing on the political wall. Uh, Trump is going to crush it. And the system our founding fathers handed down to us is stronger than any one man. So I plan to work together with this new president to benefit my constituents and actually do the job they voted me to do. I mean, that's called acceptance. It's called reality. Now, of course, we can't be complacent. I know. You know that. The Democrats are capable of doing anything now, especially now that they're so desperate. But we knew this was going to happen, gang. This is precisely what I predicted on our live stream Friday broadcast. The polls, as the week after the debate plays out, the polls were going to be utterly devastating. But I got to admit, this too big to rig map that we're taking a look at, it's more devastating than I ever imagined in my wildest dreams. This map is absolutely unbelievable. Again, paid for by Biden's own dollars. We'll see how things continue to play out in the days ahead, right along with the Democrats' stages of grief. Here's your opportunity to tell big tech tyrants where they can stick it. Click on that link below and download our brand new Cancel Proof Turley Talks app, and you can sign our special declaration of restoration. That's our petition to big tech that declares a new day is dawn, they are no longer in control, and we are taking our nation back. We've already got over a thousand signatures of courageous patriots, and yours is next. Click on that link below or go to fight.turleytalks.com right now.